Okay, today we're gonna to look at how to send data from your board to your PC, and from your PC to your board via one of these little $2 Bluetooth modules. Now, you may want to send data from your board to your PC, like say sensor readings, and display them live on your computer. You may sometimes wanna send data from your PID feedback loop and graph it live on your computer so you can see how well it's performing and make it easier to tune. And you may want to send um, that from your computer to your board in order to get your board to carry out different commands. I'll make a demo of both. All right, so here I'm just simply gonna go up to tools. I'm gonna ensure that I'm connected to COM port 12 because that's where my Bluetooth module is. You go to serial monitor, and boom, the serial monitor comes up. If I pick up my bit here, and I start tilting him, see so he tilts up, he tilts down, he follows him around. If I want to graph it, instead of just printing it out the screen, all I've got to do is simply close my serial monitor, come back up here, go to uh, tools, and this time open the serial plotter. And so I open serial plotter, instead of graphing it now, it's going to plot it. And once it's done a few cycles, it learns about where it's got to sit. Right. Very simple. Now the Bluetooth module I'm using is a HC05. They're really, really common. You can buy them off eBay, AliExpress, Banggood, Wish, wherever you want. Lots of places sell them quite cheap for about $2 US. I'm gonna connect it to port five with a cable that I have made up. It's just because I don't have one of these RJ25 connectors, but this RJ25 connector does identically the same as this. Now, when we connect it up on most of these modules, they'll actually have the pinouts written on the back and we need to connect RXD, TXD, ground, and VCC in order to make these work. And I'll go through the pinout we need to connect. Let's look at the connections. They're all pretty easy. We connect the VCC from the adapter to the Bluetooth module. We connect the ground from the adapter to the Bluetooth module. And we connect the S2 pin on the adapter to the TXD pin on the Bluetooth module, and we connect the S1 pin to the RXD pin on the Bluetooth module. The first time you power it up, you'll find that it's gonna blink away because it's not paired with anything. So what we need to do is we need to come in to the bottom here, start typing Bluetooth. Once you get Bluetooth up, very quickly it will come up to Bluetooth device and settings. I'm gonna to go to that. When you come up to the very top, add Bluetooth. I'm gonna add a Bluetooth device. It's gonna start searching for it. Very quickly it found the HC05, that's him. I'm gonna click on him. Now the standard password for this is 1234. I'm gonna go connect. There we are, your device is ready to roll. Okay, let's look at some code at how I did that. First thing I have to do is you'll have to download my serial extension, which have these five blocks in it. Any time we want to use the serial port, which is the gray port number five on my Ranger board, the first thing we have to do is we have to open up a communication line to that port, and we need to tell it how fast we want to speak. The Bluetooth module we want to speak to default speeds speaks at 9,600 bits per second, so we're gonna open at that. Now I've just got a forever loop going around here where you just simply print to that port the gyro x-axis angle. It waits 0.15 of a second, and then it prints it again. So that's on my board running at the moment. If I come across to my Arduino here, one of the reasons you may want to send data to your computer is to be able to read live sensory outputs, which is what I'm doing at the moment. As I tilt the gyro up, the readings go up. As I tilt the gyro down, the reading goes down. So I can plot on my computer via Bluetooth live readings from sensors.
Okay, let's look at an example where we're sending data from our computer to our robot to tell our robot what we want it to do. So same as before, the first thing I need to do is I need to open a communication line to the Bluetooth module at the right speed. And I have a forever loop here. The first thing I do in this forever loop is I ask, is there any serial available? So this serial available will tell us if there's a message available and how long it is. So basically, any time it's larger than zero, then there's a message. So we're going to wait till there's a message. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to execute this command block, read to serial text. Any time that block runs, what it does is, whatever the message is, it stores it in this variable here for us. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if that message equals red, turn the lights on red. If that message equals blue, turn the lights on blue. If that message equals off, turn the lights off. All right, now I'll upload and run this on my on my robot. Okay, I'm just gonna to go to my tools and then open my serial monitor. And if I type in here RED, when I press enter, it turns red. If I type in there BLUE, when I hit enter, it turns blue. If I type in there OFF, when I hit enter, off. So now we're able to send it to it. And the same thing will actually work in the serial plotter. If you were down here and using the serial plotter, of course at the moment it has absolutely nothing to plot because I'm not sending in any information. If I want to send it something, oh, sorry, red, I put red down the bottom in there, when I press enter, still goes red. If I send off, Oh, did I spell off wrong there? There you go, off. So it allows you to actually be, the plotter allows you to be plotting data that's coming in and sending it commands to go back. That's really handy when you're trying to tune your robot. You can be plotting on the screen live data coming from your robot and actually be sending back commands at the same time.